Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Clare of Assisi. Let us pray in this Mass that like her, we may follow the poor Christ in poverty, in humility, and in purity. Let us now be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord.
Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, you live in the midst of a rebellious house. They have eyes to see, but do not see, and ears to hear, but do not hear, for they are a rebellious house. Now, son of man, during the day while they are looking on, prepare your baggage as though for exile. And again, while they are looking on, migrate from where you live to another place. Perhaps they will see that they are a rebellious house. You shall bring out your baggage like an exile in the daytime while they are looking on. In the evening, again, while they are looking on, you shall go out like one of those driven into exile. While they look on, dig a hole in the wall and pass through it. While they look on, shoulder the burden and set out in the darkness. Cover your face that you may not see the land, for I have made you a sign for the house of Israel. I did as I was told. During the day, I brought out my baggage as though it were that of an exile. And that evening, I dug a hole through the wall with my hand. And while they looked on, set out in the darkness, shouldering my burden. Then in the morning, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, did not the house of Israel, that rebellious house, ask you what you were doing? Tell them, thus says the Lord God, this oracle concerns Jerusalem and the whole house of Israel within it. I am a sign for you. As I have done, so shall it be done to them. As captives, they shall go into exile. The prince who is among them shall shoulder his burden and set out in darkness, going through a hole he has dug out in the wall and covering his face, lest he be seen by anyone. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. They tempted and rebelled against God the Most High, and kept not His decrees. They turned back and were faithless like their fathers. They recoiled like a treacherous bow. Do not forget the works of the Lord. They angered him with their high places, and with their idols roused his jealousy. 
God heard and was enraged and utterly rejected Israel. Do not forget the works of the Lord. And he surrendered his strength into captivity, his glory in the hands of the foe. He abandoned his people to the sword and was enraged against his inheritance. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked, Lord, if my brother sinned against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the count accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed, handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, let us reflect 
on the word rebellion, which was often repeated in our readings today, especially in the first reading and in the responsorial psalm. Rebellion is an action or a process of resisting authority or defying control. Rebellion is a form of disobedience. That is why God in our first reading today calls the house of Israel as a rebellious people because they disobeyed God. They defied the commandments and the laws of God and they resisted the authority of God over them. And because they were rebellious, because they disobeyed God, God sent them to exile. In our Gospel today, Jesus narrates a parable about the unforgiving servant. The parable of Jesus shows first and foremost the great mercy of the Master, which is about the great mercy of God for us. But it also shows the ruthlessness, the lack of mercy of the servant to his fellow servant. And this is a form of rebellion. By refusing to forgive his fellow servant after he himself has been forgiven by his master, this servant is rebelling against the forgiving and loving and merciful master. The refusal to forgive others, therefore, is a form of rebellion against a forgiving God. Kapag tayo'y hindi nagpapatawad sa ating kapwa, pagkatapos na tayo mismo ang humingi ng tawad sa Panginoon at tumanggap ng kapatawaran niya, para tayong nagre-rebelde doon sa kabutihan at kapatawaran na tinanggap natin mula sa Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, the people of Israel and this servant in the parable of Jesus both rebelled against God. How many times have we been like them? How many times have we rebelled against God? How many times have we defied the plans, the will, and the commandments of God? How many times have we resisted God's power and love for us? You know, rebellion, which is a form of disobedience, has another reality behind it. When you rebel against someone, it means that you are being faithful to another. Kaya ka nagre-rebelde kasi may iba ng katapatan may iba ka nang pinagbibigyan ng iyong katapatan. And so, if we, rebel, re, if we rebel against God, it only shows that we are being faithful to something or someone other than God. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of St. Clair of Assisi, the first woman who followed St. Francis of Assisi 
in living out a life of poverty in imitation of the poor Christ. St. Clair also rebelled, but not against God. She rebelled against the world that lures her away from God. She rebelled against worldly materials, worldly things, against worldly beauty, against worldly power and prestige, so that she may remain always faithful to Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray that we may be like her. We may rebel, resist, and defy anything that will lure us away from Jesus so that we may remain always faithful to Him. Rebel against anything that is contrary to Christ so that we may always be faithful to Jesus. Please stand. Let us pray to God that is that as His people who have experienced His forgiveness, we may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God set free by the blood of Christ, may not be divided in factions, but live in tolerance and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those embittered by injuries and wrongdoings may cast away resentment from their hearts and be open to the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those among us who find it difficult to forgive may realize God's generous mercy for everyone and, we, and may we be able to forgive from our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those of us who feel the deep wounds of physical and spiritual injuries may find healing in the Lord's forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers and for all intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, look with compassion on our failures. Deliver us from hardness of heart and grant that we may be always ready to forgive hurts and heal divisions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Clare, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Clare and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Oh, my God. 
lang Ako ay kanyang pinagpapahinga Sa mainang niyang Pastula. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the Blessed Clare, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinagpalang nilikha Ipinaglihim walang sala Pusong dalisay dakina Maria ina ng awa Thank you.